to you right there you want to get high off of other aliens but you don't have the necessary holes or ports on your body to do so don't worry you come on down to the high on life store and we're gonna hook you up with one of our brand new hyper bars that you can just shove other living creatures into all right here's the skinny you're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. Our team already has four guns. Isn't that enough? I'm asking for real. I really don't know. Trust me. We need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh, another Gatlian. That's fantastic. That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Don't get mad at me for not knowing this, because remember, my brain's been scrambled. But how would we find him? We do it the old-fashioned way and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. I haven't known you very long, Gene, but I respect you more than anyone else I've ever met in my life. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked the new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Tonight on The Corpulent Gentleman. I do not <laughs> Hey there, bounty hunter. It's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, Gene. Hey, uh, did, did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you make him nervous with his interrogation. Am I... what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. What? Why do you care? Well, if you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Hey, uh, hey tough guy, we're, we're looking for a Dr. Giblets. You got, you got any leads? Slick, what the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. How's the Michael show going? I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else, or can I fucking go? Well, this show's going great, buddy. How you doing? Like, with your weird interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! Quit the, the drug guys. No! I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! Ooh, bummer, they were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors, so let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Michael Show. Better luck next Every time, let's Friday look for somebody else. On Jerk It Channel. Wait, did he just say I'm on the... Oh, oops, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads, this'll be worth it, I promise. a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. 
but no cracks about my name. Well, sure. Yeah, I, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me, so uh, how about no? I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. <laughs> it was a great night. Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. <laughs> it's just we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woo -hoo. that was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blurdo and mention Michael Taint. Yeah, good thing you like running so hey, much, huh? you look hungry? Hungry for some, uh, deals? Am I right? Hey, what's up, Blordo? You know anything about a, a, a where we could find a guy named Jib, Dr. Giblets? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What, why? What, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something, I'll beat it, buster. Ah, oh, that piece of shit. I'm gonna kill him. Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launches tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here. If anyone sees me talking to you, I'm dead. Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Whoa, great sleuthing, detective. That was an s wank interrogation. It's like Christmas morning. Hey, yo, discerning customer, would you be interested in some quote-unquote food? Outside of the room, you know, so mm, it's just gonna be confusing to know. Power sliding! Right, boys, well, that's too bad. People should be smarter. Um. Hey, there's my favorite VIP. Hey, you don't have to wait through any of this funny business. You are allowed right in, my friend. Yeah, you better! Head straight through. I don't want jerks like you hanging around. Shit, thank you. Okay, so we're looking for this new high on life store. Oh, yeah, hey, the hey, slums yeah. are a little more uh, chill now again, that we took out to nine tours. Broken leg guy. Nobody wants to talk to the broken leg hey, guy again. We heard you were asking around for giblets. Well, the torgs are with the G3 now, so it's best not to stick your nose with. Where oh, fucking goddamn it! Hey! this hard. Come on, let, let's get to this high on life place.
know, look, the slums have always been a mess, but I, I don't like what they're doing over here to this place. It's, it just feels weird. Call me up just when I was in the middle of a nice dream. We found ourselves outside the high on life, see? What's the big deal? Why was it attracting a crowd? So many questions. And I'm asking it for real. I was not paying attention. Buy a new adapter. I need a new hyperbar. You don't understand. This isn't like a consumer loyalty thing. It's more like uh, I'm addicted to Hey, don't to drugs. worry. Detectives can always cut lines. The rules do not apply to the law. Okay, okay. There's nobody Welcome got me. Welcome to oh, High I'm on Life Store number 7923. Your local Hyperbong Superstore. Please, no traveling of other patrons. Well, well, well. I lunch. smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way. You know me. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still tracking down giblets. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit. That's what, that's what the fuck we're gonna do. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. 
Are you being helped already? High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that. I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop fruit case for your hyperbong? You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before. But I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. Oh, I'm so excited you asked. A Hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. Ooh, boy, they really want to make that commission, huh? Sorry, but I gotta give you another D rank. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy Hyper Bongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Huh? Nah, I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but Hyper Bongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells Hyper Bongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. Oh man, this again. Look man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store, or who built it, or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume, I got this manager gig, I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like, I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But, but you know about him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around though, I don't really know where he is. What? I told you, I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? Illegal? No, 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 not, not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Clug Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell Hyperbongs and Hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about, high on life Hyperbongs, are the only way to get that fix. Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where it don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please, just fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this, got it? We've got this covered. What the hell was that? Don't touch me! Holy shit, what, what the fuck? Was this guy trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. Listen, I hate to suggest this, but I think we might need to, you know, borrow that dead guy's mag boots, you know, to, just to climb out of here. 
Yeah, that's fine. Try to take those mag boots. Okay, look, I know this is a little fucked, but these boots are gonna be very. Hey, sick moves. You're making good use of those mag boots. Company. Hello there. You guys again? Don't worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim, the Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd, the G3 cartel, or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed, pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Huh, all right, let's, let's go talk to Clug. So? Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hey, Clug. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with... Dr. Giblets? Well, yeah, no, I mean, we that's what we want to do, you know, but uh, it's just the trail went dead. A dead end? Oh, no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what 
might be on it. Oh, that's how we get to Dr. Giblets? Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. All right, then we just kick the door down, burst our way in there, find him, grab him by the neck. Hey, 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 I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Uh, we will do our best. Go. Magistrate Klug came through. He pointed us right to Dr. Giblets. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill Giblets. Carrying Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Gary and Jill went... You're doing... Gary fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Gary and Jill went up the hill to fetch. Looks like things have developed in a sort of weird way over here. Welcome to Highway Village. Our currency here is tires, and we sacrifice our younglings to the Lord Asphaltia. Ha- Oh, I'm so sorry, I'll let you go. Are we fighting some guys or just hanging out? I'm down for whatever.
Let's use my glove shot. Fuck. Time out. Time out. Ah, uh, nobody's gonna miss you. Yeah, let's do this! What's inside? You hear some someone's calling for help. Fuck, I don't want to die like this or, or, or at all. I, I'm, I'm really hurt. I'm like badly. It's not even. Uh, oh, thank God. Thank God someone's here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh, oh. oh my God. What, what, what happened? A G3 base warped right through here. Right, 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 right where I was. And, uh,. Well, well, it shot me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. A, G a G3 base? Y you had to do it. You, you had to put him out of his misery. It was like a really annoying horse with a broken leg. You, you know? It, it, do you understand? Is there an equivalent to broken leg? You, you following here? Okay, so is this Dr. Giblets' base? Where, where the hell is he? Well, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Jesus Christ! Okay, okay, fine. Oh, that's uh, a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for everyone who died. But it's hmm, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there. That's what they're used for. That's what drones are for. They're for combat. Someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what? That makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you. That's what you're doing. Looks like your typical work desk, nothing too crazy. Uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments. I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. All right then, let's, let's keep moving.
All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door! Howdy there, cowboys! Uh, oh shit, sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives! Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's gotta be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning! We got this! Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. These must be old Hyperbong prototypes. Way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out. Now we can move on to the next thing. these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms, but we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. I got no fucking idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go go find more clues, baby. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Oh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do, so... Okay, he was right. Oh shit, that's a G Gatlion! A regular old Gatlion doesn't look like it's in good health at all. Probably should just let it be, honestly. Aha! So that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlion to attack his men. It's pretty powerful. Did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlion for ourselves. You think that's gonna happen? Uh, who knows? Let's find out. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. Wait, so we didn't have to find any of those clues? Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much, I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets. Dr. Giblets. Uh, that was very anticlimactic, but I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not complaining. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me at him. Dr. Giblets status report. No life sense detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. Hello. If you're hearing this pre-recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. It's never that easy, is it? Ready to go. Everyone called me crazy, but look at me now. I'm dead and you're trapped in here. All this prey to my glorious science you were ever This is fine. I expected you to defeat some of them, but you will not. 
Lancelot. Perhaps you weren't my son, Crimothy. Yes. Yes, I was wrong. How could I have been so blind? I know who killed me now. It was you, Krubus. What? What is? What? He, he thinks Krubus killed him? Yes! Jesus Christ, how many of these did he record? It's nice to kill something guilt-free, you know? Krubus, Krubus, Krubus. Always complaining about being the lowest wrong on the G3 ladder. You thought you could kill me and take my spot on the top, didn't you? Well, think again.
is my final message. If you're still alive to hear this, then I've made a great mistake. I was wrong. Only one person could have survived all of that. Myself. I killed myself. Finally. It makes sense, you know. I always hated myself. I knew I'd get the guts to do it one of these days. Good for me. Oh, that's dark. So, okay, I killed myself. Whoops. My apologies to whoever's hearing this. I hope you'll forgive me for making you go through all of that. You can leave now. Have a good day. Giblets out. R.I.P. Giblets. Wow, okay, good, 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 good work. I think we can get back out through the trap door now. As I continue to study these humans, I find them to be more complex than I ever could have expected. Initially, oh, I uh, the potential in both is he even alive? Uh, you know what? L let's take him back to Gene. Gene knows he can animals. fix, get him all fixed up. Those were nothing but dead ends. Humans, however, humans. I just wanted to say, you know, to today really meant a lot to me, and um, uh, God, uh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up. So see you later. Bye. Oh, thank God. Okay, Bounty Hunter, you go through the menus. You find that detective mode. You shut it the fuck off. Never again. Whoa. Oh, look at that. You found Dr. Giblets all by yourself. See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. How'd it go? Come on over. Let's bow wow. Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh, shit. That's great. I, 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 I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's, he's not really functional. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he's dead, but... Oh, God damn. Yeah, he's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. You would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix it. Okay, th thanks, Gene. But you know, if, if he can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing! I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... Turn in your bounty real quick. I've got some good news and some bad news. Okay, come on over. Let me give you the- All right, what do you got for us, Gene? All right, which do you want first? The good news or the bad news? All right, here's the bad news. Lizzie's been gone for a while. It's probably nothing, and I'm obviously not actually worried or anything because I, I hate her. But, uh, you know, you, you might want to look into it since she's your sister and all. Maybe check with Tweeg. He works at that space Applebee's uptown. All right, well, I lied, kid. I don't have any good news. I was hoping you'd just ask for the bad news, and then you'd be so upset you'd forget to ask about the good news. Uh, I was trying to pull a fast one on you, and I failed. So, uh, it was pretty embarrassing. Uh... So, uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll work on getting us some new bounty leads if you want to go look for Lizzie. And, uh, I'm gonna see if I can fix up that busted Gatlian you saved. Jesus, that is a lot to take in, Gene. Hey, uh, Bounty Hunter, you mind if we leave the other Gatlians here with Gene and maybe we can go poke around for Lizzie and use that time to have a little chat with each other? You know, just you and me, uh, our favorite people, our favorite... Uh, oh, sure, we can use a little break. It's nice to stretch out a bit, you know? Take a little nappy poo. Oh, yeah. Ugh, change the channel, Gene, to poor. Have a good time, you two. We'll hold down the four. All right, bounty hunter, let's head to Applebee's and we're, we're, let's find your sister. Look at us, just you and me again, you know, just like old times, like the dream team, you know? Uh, so Applebee's, it's in the slums, which you, you know, you, you probably knew that. So your suit can point us in the right direction. So you take the lead, bounty hunter. You, you, you know, we'll talk with, you know, we'll, we'll, we're going to, we're, we're going to chat. It's going to hey, be good. It's going to, it's all fun. good. Don't worry about this. Don't get shooken up about this. I don't, I, there's no reason to be, uh, you know, d don't feel weird or anything. I'm not trying, you know what I mean?
Broken leg guy still here. See you later. Okay, so that um, that dying Gatlian that we saved, let's do it. Let's say we can fix him up and he, you know, back alive. The thing is, oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I, I'm just trying to figure out how to say this properly, or, or you know, like communicate um, the, how we normally do, right? You know, the Gatlian we saved, let's do it. Uh, he knows some things about me that 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 the others don't know, and it's, a, it's nothing too crazy, you know. It's, it's, okay, no, it's it's bad. It's really bad. Cryptic. I'm just oh, this is tough. You know, this is really hard. I, I'm worried about your sister. You, you think Twig is working today? Welcome to Applebee's. Table for two, right this way. Oh, uh, actually, we're wondering if someone named Twig is working today. He didn't show up for his shift. Sorry. Do you still want a table? Um, you know what? You know what? Maybe this is a good spot to talk. Uh, yes. We 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 will we will take a table. Enjoy your meal. Your waiter will be with you shortly. Thank you. Okay, listen, I I'm sorry for making us sit here at Applebee's. I know we're really focused on Lizzie, and that's kind of the important thing, but would you mind if I kind of got something off my chest here with you first? Whew, okay, thanks. You know, it's just, you know, it it's going to weigh me down if I don't say something. Okay, so you remember what happened on my home planet, Gatlas? It got taken over by the G3, like yours. You know, all my people got enslaved. Y y you remember that, right? You know all that, right? Sorry, of course you do. Well, um, what if it was kind of, you know, just a little tiny bit entirely my fault? Uh, okay, I, I can see you're at a loss for words. I, I, I know how it sounds. I'm not the only reason the G3 invaded Gatlas. I'm just the only reason they even knew about it in the first place. Hey there, welcome to Applebee's. I'm going to be your waiter for the day. Can I get you started with one of our signature cocktails? Uh, not, not now, please. We're, we're kind of busy here. Okay, sure thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get that in for you. Uh, thank you. Okay, bounty hunter, so l l let me explain. Gatlas was isolated on the far edge of an asteroid belt. We were completely untouched by the greater interstellar civilization, j just like your planet. But, you know, I, I wanted out. Like, I wanted to see the galaxy. I wanted to see what everything out there had to offer. That's when Rel Del Mar crashed his ship into our planet. He was this crazy smuggler. He, he'd been all over and he'd seen it all. And, 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 and after I helped him fix his ship, he wanted me to be a part of his crew, you know? And he, he took me with him. And I'm back. Here we go. This is for you. All right, now what were you thinking for an appetizer? Uh, so I'm sorry. We're in the middle of something, please. Great, it's coming right up. Oh, I don't know why I picked Applebee's to tell you this, but wh where were we? Okay, oh, right, um, obviously a guy like Rel, you know, he had to deal with all kinds of shady customers, and well, you know, that led us to the G3, and Garmantuous, you know, he'd never seen an alien like me, you know, a talking gun with endless firepower, and well, looking back, you know, I see how stupid I was, you know, I, I really do, but at the time, I couldn't tell, you know, I was being taken advantage of. I was going nowhere. No, everyone thought I was a fuck up. You know, I, I just wanted to prove to everyone that I could do something. You know. Open up. Here comes the appetizer train. Chicka 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 choo choo. Thank you. I ho hope you like those. Now you better be ready to order that main course. You betcha. I'm gonna get that order right to the cook. Okay, thank you. So. I led the G3 right to Gatlas. Do you see where I'm going with this? We fought them off at first, you know, but they came back with some super virus that damn near zombified everyone. You know, a few of us were immune. We formed a rebellion. It was led by Let's Do It. He was my best friend, my mentor. He was one of the strongest Gatlians who ever lived, and I, I got him killed. 
In his dying moments, I told him everything, like I'm telling you now, about how I left Gatlas to pal around with a criminal, how I led Garmantuous and the G3 right to our planet, how I got everyone killed, except Les Do It survived. Somehow, the G3 must have kept him alive to try to utilize his power. God, if we can really bring him back, do, do, do you see my problem, right? Like, I, I'm gonna have to tell the other guns what I did, you know, or else he'll tell them. All right, I'm back. Hope those tummies are ready for some yummies. Bon appetit. Dude, take a fucking hint. Can't you see we're in the middle of a thing here? Emotional thing. Uh, you know, this is important baggage shit we're dealing with here. Take a hint and get out of here for a second. Uh-oh, -uh, someone's feeling grumpy. Oh, wonderful. Now, wh what the fuck is happening outside? Lizzie? Don't follow us. Twig and I are in love, and we're going to travel the galaxy in his space RV. Uh, actually, this is moving kind of fast. Not Help me, please. that sentence. We're in okay, love. We gotta get to them. Oh, shit, yeah. We, I can't dine and dash. I love this place. Don't want to get blacklisted. Oh, fuck. Okay, this, this, this changes shit. This is bad. I'm here live in downtown Blim City where, as you can see, we've been invaded by violent and agitated G3 cartel forces. No one can say for sure why they're here. We're here to kill you, bounty hunter! <laughs> ah, okay. Well, there you have it. It looks like this is only a problem if you're that bounty hunter that they're trying to kill. I'm People Puckerton, Blim City News. Stay safe out there. Uh, so, I've got some more bad news. Uh, you were doing such a good job with all these bounty hunting fights that you really were, so I made some new commercials with you in them to drum up more business, and well, let's just say they had your house address, and now the G3 knows where we are, so, uh, so get back there quick, or they're gonna kill me and the other guns. My bad. Fucking, as if it couldn't get any worse. I can't believe I'm saying that. Come on, come on, keep up the pace. We, we, we have to get back to the house. That's right, let's go, we're gonna hurry. Oh yeah, I've been here the whole time, but, but don't worry, I'll keep your secret safe. I'm, I'm not a snitch. Hunter? <laughs> you fuck with the wrong crime syndicate. It's all over. Hand over the 
the Gatlians you stole from us, and then let me heal you. Nice and easy. We know everything about you, and we still have two oh-so-special people who are very worried about you. <laughs> Turn yourself in, and nobody has to get hurt. Thanks for coming back for me. I didn't deserve your help. It's not your fault! Well, no, you don't fuck that! It is your fault! You fucked up enormously, but we'll deal with that later! Please, fire up the warp core! We're leaving! Got it. Hey, don't forget about us! What's the plan? Yeah, the warp's ready, but we can go with it. You three won't follow. I'll handle that. Can you pull off a Hennison maneuver mid-warp to juke them? Can I what? Did you make that up? Can we scramble the warp? Fine, yes, yeah, scramble the warp. Bounty hunter, bring me to the warp core. And manually. Fuck it. Five, five, five. That's right. Of the four, three, dash, two, one, one, eight, okay. seven, Got four. It. Scramble top. And here we go. I was close. I may be 230, but I don't want to die yet. Are we? Did, did we make it? Yeah. We're safe. Nobody on our tail, but uh, where are we? Am I missing something? I'm not picking up any signs of life out there. Then we're in the right spot. Kenny, where did you just take us? It was the only safe place I could think of. Careful. It's toxic out there. I set up an atmos bubble so you can breathe, so don't wander too far. Or do. What does it matter anymore? Welcome to Gatlas, my home planet. Jesus. I didn't realize it was this bad. Fuck, there's nothing left. This was our home? Pretty soon Earth is gonna look like this too. We have got to stop the G3, bitch. Sorry, nobody answered me. I asked if this was our home. Anyone? Fine, I don't need an answer. God, yes, creature. It, it was our home, and it got all fucked up. We're, we're, we're trying not to think about it too much. Got it. Thank you. Well, it looks like shit. 